Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick Terrio and today I have an exciting new video for you guys. Today, I'm going to be answering the main question I get all the time and that is, should I do a giveaway on my Facebook ads or say Instagram? And I'm going to explain that today, whether you should do a giveaway or not and some pros and cons to it and some different routes you can go to actually increase the effectiveness if you decided to do a giveaway. So that being said, before we get started, make sure you hit the like button and hit that subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, just like this one. So let's get started, guys. Okay, so the question, should I do a giveaway? And you know, exactly what should you do if you decide to do a giveaway? First off, if you know, to do a giveaway or not, really, I guess there's two different routes you can go. You need to determine first is, do you want money from it or do you want followers for it? Because if you want a bunch of followers and likes and comments and stuff, and you don't really care about the quality of people following you, say on Instagram, then a giveaway, cool, go for it. But you're not really gonna get what you expect. You see a lot of people that do giveaways, say on like Instagram, Facebook, and they get a lot of people that follow them, like their stuff, comments on it and stuff because they want to enter the giveaway, but they're coming to your brand with the pre-frame of, I want to win something for free. So if you're attracting a lot of people that are coming for something for free, likely for them to convert later down the line, it's going to be a lot lower. So you get a bunch of followers, you get some likes and some comments and stuff. You get, you know, a post go viral. You, you, you grow your brand through that but you grow your brand with a lower quality audience of people. So that's, that's the first thing you need to understand. But there is a way to do a giveaway and make it more effective. If we look at companies like Diesel Brothers, they have shown that giveaways can be super, super powerful with growing a business. And they've probably done the, one of the best jobs at doing a giveaway um, I've ever seen any brand do specifically to grow their business to multiple millions of dollars in terms of online sales. And on top of that, they have a TV show, etc. But they, they really show off the effectiveness of doing a giveaway and how to do it properly. And this is the same way I recommend all of my clients do it if they decide to do one. First off, if you want to do a giveaway, train your audience to perform an action before they can enter. So, it, you know, a, a low action or a low quality actions like a like, comment, or share that you know that, that provides a low quality, low quality action. It's an easy trend, um, easy action for your audience to do to enter into the giveaway. Very easy. But a higher quality action is a little bit of a purchase. Maybe enter in their email. So enter in their email to where you can monetize that list. Or what we recommend is actually purchasing something. So what Diesel Brothers did, for example, is they give away a truck, you know, hundred thousand dollar truck, and you're like, holy shit, they gave away a truck. Yeah, they gave away a truck and for people to enter is every time they made a purchase on the website, they got raffle tickets and those raffle tickets were put into the, you know, the big pot. So people were enticed to go purchase more on their website in order to get more tickets. So I don't really need to explain this anymore. I'm gonna go purchase, say a $20, $30 item every month from this business to keep getting points put into the system for my, my you know, increasing the chance of me winning this, you know, $100,000 truck. So you're training people to perform actions in order to get a reward, low, low actions, you know, nothing big. And if you do this properly, you can actually benefit from a, you know, giveaway very, very <laughs> well. They gave away a $100,000 truck. They probably spent maybe 100, 200 grand on, on ads. You're looking at what, 300 grand, 400 grand in investment into a giveaway that's probably generated them maybe three to $4 million in revenue. It's going viral. And because it went viral, what happens is you, you attract a ton more organic and you also get probably higher ROAS and stuff on your giveaway, et cetera. So how can you do this? Because I know not all of these people or everyone watching this channel right now is likely going to give away a truck and you can still do this in different ways you know specifically with a giveaway there's a few different ways we like to do it so number one is a free gift with a purchase so hey we made a hundred of these limited edition shirts that are you know people love them and the first thousand orders thousand customers we're gonna toss a random shirt into each one of those thousand orders so people are enticed 
to wanting to purchase from your brand because you want to be one of those first 1,000 orders to win this limited edition shirts. And, and, and honestly, you can also do it another route too is for the first 100 orders of this drop, we're giving away this limited edition shirt. So in the first 100 orders, we're, we're tossing in a free shirt in the first 100 orders. So you're giving away this item and people are like, I want to get that item for free. That's all they care about. They don't care about the cost associated to the shirt. They just see a free shirt. They can care less about the cost associated with it. So this makes it super powerful and you can run a giveaway because you want to win the free shirt or you want to get a free shirt and you're getting people to purchase from you. So you're making money back from it. Now, another way to do a giveaway is actually doing a giveaway to your existing customers because what happens is, is when you run a giveaway, you again, you attract a lot of low quality people, but what if you do a giveaway to your existing customers and do something in terms of, hey, refer our business, share our business with a few of your friends, and that's how you enter. You know, here's how you refer people, share, comment, like, etc. So do the typical thing, but you're gearing it and you're aiming it to your existing customers. So that way your existing customers, people that's already purchased from your business, has spent a bunch of money with your business, is sharing and talking really good about your product and likely even sharing some UGC that you could possibly use for advertising, obviously once you request access to use it. So that's another way to do it, go about it. We're gonna give away to your existing customers, giveaways, competitions and stuff, and it, it also, in turns it in return it builds up a strong relationship with your business with your existing customers because they they, they just that you know engaging with your brand in, in a different way and you know being top of mind and like hey i want to win this competition i want to win this giveaway and further investment and building up that cognitive you know um space in their mind around your business and building up that that continuing relationship and in exchange, it's gonna build a stronger, closer brand image with them and you know, build more brand advocates for your business. That's another way of running a giveaway. Run to your existing customers, use emails, SMS, and all that to enter, and that's how you do it. But I think the biggest takeaways from this video is do some type of thing where, you know, a giveaway where it's a random gift with random purchases. So all month long, we're giving out random gifts. Hey, this week we're giving out this, you know. Bose headphones right here. We're gonna just toss them in one random order this week. So if you purchase this week, we're giving away a free pair of headphones in one of these packages, $300 value. Maybe you do a giveaway to your existing customers. Get your existing customers to share good faith and good value and good talking about your brand in exchange for entries into a uh, giveaway. And again, it's a lot more effective that way because you're using existing customers. Maybe it's a giveaway of to your existing customers with Hey, post a picture of an Instagram tagging us wearing your product or using our product. And we're going to give away one lucky winner, a free $500 gift card. So you're going to get a ton of UGC from it because what we're going to do is we're going to give them a performance action for us in exchange. We're going to give them some money for it. And again, we're going to pick up one lucky person. So we're getting something from it. We're making performance action first and you can gauge these actions. I, I, I say like, comment and share very low, making a purchase very high. And I, I would even say like, comment, share low right here, purchase in the middle. And then high would be actually like taking a picture, taking a video, using the product and posting it online. Cause they have to really take some time out there a day to do that. And then email, like give me your email or SMS, like somewhere between purchase and like share comment. So make people perform higher actions to get a better possible reward. Now, the last thing I just wanna touch on is if you keep doing giveaways, for free, you keep attracting the wrong type of customers and stuff like that. And this is this is assuming you're still using the original, the, hey, just like, share, and comment on this post to get some entries. If you keep doing that over and over, what's gonna happen is you're gonna build a big following of people just wanting to do competitions, that's or the giveaway. And you're gonna actually, you're gonna build up a lot of people just here for the giveaway. So with that, you, you definitely don't want to, you know, go that route. And it, it has been, you know, beneficial for some smaller businesses to do this route, but longer term, you know, medium to longer term, once you start getting some growth and stuff, you definitely wanna focus on the bigger picture and doing some of these other giveaways where people take a react, you know, have a react, um, take an action first before they potentially get an award.
So hope this video helps you guys out. If you are an e-commerce business owner doing at least twenty-five dollars to $50,000 per month in revenue and love to hop on a call to chat about how we can help you improve your performance with advertising, we scaled up multiple businesses to six and seven figures and I've spent over seven figures in paid advertising over the last 12 months. So click the link below to book a call with us. We'll hop on a quick call, talk a bit about your performance and everything and figure out exactly what we can do to improve your advertising. If you like this video, make sure you click the like button below and if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button post new videos just like this one every monday wednesday and friday thank you guys so much for watching this video it's about that time so again my name is nick terrio hope you have a great day peace